You didn't tell me we were filming today? This is Callum here with another mini lesson. Quick topics meant to spark your interest and inspire you to do more research on your own. Today we're looking at radio telescopes and radio waves. Radio waves surround us. They occur naturally on Earth, but we also use them to broadcast music, make cell phone calls, watch TV, steer remote control toys, and loads of other stuff. In space, radio waves are generated by magnetic fields, planets, stars, black holes, all kinds of things. These waves travel through space at the speed of light, and we can pick them up here on Earth with special antennas. The VLA, or Very Large Array, is a collection of giant dishes pointed to the sky, 27 in all. These dishes are actually radio telescopes, a bit different than your normal telescope. Radio telescopes gather information by reading radio waves. There are large radio telescopes all around the world pointed skywards. Searching the depths of the universe, gazing at gold. Before we get too spaced out, let's get back to radio waves. Oh yeah? While we may associate the term radio with sound, radio waves are actually electromagnetic waves. This is important to remember because electromagnetic waves can travel in the vacuum of space. Sound waves cannot. If we waited for sound waves to come from space, we would be waiting for a really long time. Oh, yeah. Electromagnetic waves move through the atmosphere. We can measure these waves and see where they fit in on a spectrum. We use spectrums to classify a wide range of data in a way that we can compare and measure it. This spectrum shows us there are waves we can see, the visible spectrum, but there are also many more waves we can't see. By looking at the spectrum of light waves, we see radio waves are outside of our visible spectrum, so we can't see them with just our eyes. We've already noted that radio telescopes pick up radio waves emanating from space. And that's why we're here, at the VLA. If we can't see radio waves, how do we use them to get images of our universe? In order to interpret radio waves, we need an antenna to receive the radio signals from space, and then convert them into something we can see. Something with wavelengths that fall within our visible spectrum. Turning radio waves into images like this. Cool, right? Yes! That's awesome! Radio waves coming from space can be hard to detect. In order to receive these waves, the antenna or dish needs to be pretty big. But sometimes, one dish isn't enough. Ever heard the saying, there's strength in numbers? <laughs> these 27 disks work together to gather data from deep space. This information is combined, like pieces of a puzzle, to form one very detailed picture of space. By combining the power of these 27 telescopes, you get a resolution of a disk 22 miles in diameter. Wow! Using the information gathered from these radio waves, astronomers can see distant galaxies, detect dying stars, discover black holes, peer into gas planets, and learn so much that would otherwise remain unknown. So now we know, radio waves are actually light waves, but we can't see them with our eyes. They fall outside of our visual spectrum. Large antenna can pick up these waves and convert them into images we can see. Check out the websites below if you want to learn more about radio waves and radio telescopes. The NRAO site is full of great information. Invisible waves, deep space, and giant dish antennas. More examples of how science rocks. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and subscribe. We'll let you know when the next lesson's coming. Stay tuned. There's more to come. And that's fine, cause I will carry on. We are stones dropped in a pool.